Good evening from all of us at Rocket Soccer Confederation. With playoffs right around the corner, every match is critical for these teams. Tonight we have a minor league matchup from the Lunar Conference in a very tight ocean division. The Soldiers, who are only two wins out of a playoff spot, will be facing the Jackals, who will be desperately going for a 4-0 sweep of this, in this series in hopes to get back into contention heading into the final week of regular season. This is Michael Berry, a.k.a. Beerkillies. Joining me tonight is Llama, and bringing you play-by-play, play, or, uh, sorry, and bring, uh, running the stream alongside me, as always, is Arvor. Thanks for joining us. This is going to be a huge series for the Soldiers, as they are only two wins away from jumping into a playoff spot. But you know they will want more than two wins to space themselves from the other teams in a very tight conference. As for the Jackals, things aren't looking great headed into the last week, but a 4-0 or even a 3-1 series could get them back into the race. Stat-wise, both these teams sit middle of the league in almost every stat. The one exception to that is the Jackals are second in the league in saves. A big reason for that is Impulse being on their team. He is first in the league in saves. On the other side, the standout player for the Soldiers is Zach. He is fourth in goals, fifth in saves, and first in assists. He is really an MVP-type player for the Soldiers and will be a big factor in their success tonight. Keys for these teams, Jackals, Impulse performs well, and his teammates support his great defense and are ready for his passes. Soldiers, Zach, he also needs to perform well, but it'll be more, even more important for his teammates to be ready for his passes. He is first in assists, so that shows that his teammates have been there when he needs them all season long, and they'll just need to be there for him tonight. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely a, definitely an interesting matchup in terms of both offense and defense that both of these teams are bringing into the game. Uh, of course, I always like to take the save stat with a bit of a grain of salt because, you know, to, to get more saves, you need to let in a lot of shots, and the Jackals are letting in a lot of shots against the Soldiers. I definitely think the Soldiers are the type of team that will punish them for that. You can make as many saves as you want, but eventually something's going to go in. So I think that it's going to come down to a lot of, of big clears from the Jackals. If they can turn those saves into into big clears and turn around offense, it'll definitely be a lot easier for them to to pull out the series. Yeah, exactly. Uh, when Impulse makes those saves like he's been doing all season long, he needs his teammates to come in and clear the ball out of there because exactly if that pressure from the soldiers just keeps up, eventually ball's going to find the back of the net. You can only save so many times. Yeah, exactly. So it'll be interesting to see how they can adapt to that and, and you know, if maybe these soldiers players have been studying that and they're they're prepared to capitalize on poor quality saves. So. Yeah, we will, we will have to see how this plays out. But, yeah, like you said, very, very interesting matchup here. I think this is the most competitive conference in the minor leagues, so definitely still anyone's game. Uh, I don't think any other uh, division can say that. So very, yes. very interesting matchup here this evening. Does Super look like, Yeah, it does look like first team is joining here. There's the other one, so we should be getting underway shortly here. As it look like on the field this evening is going to be Chinchilla Impulse, who we mentioned. Uh, we got Majestic, Wolf, uh, Anarchy Soldat, and Wurtz. So... Definitely strong lineups fielded by both teams here. We'll have to see which one can come out on top. Should be a great matchup. Chinchilla, an old friend of mine. Great team player. Here we go. Game one. Kickoff here will go in favor of Soldiers. They're blue. Double commit there a little bit. Chinchilla's following that up. Maybe a pass throughout the backboard. Spider with that whiff. Empty there for a second. But, uh... Jackals will get that out of there before our blue team can capitalize. Zach with a nice touch. Chinchilla's trying to get to that ball first. Majestic's going to end up getting there first, though. Slow here. Two whiffs. Anarchy slows that down, gets it around Impulse. No one to follow up from his team, though. Majestic's going to be the first one to get there, but Zach with a nice duck, dunk that's headed towards net, and Spider with a nice save off the back wall. Good pressure here from the soldiers right off the bat. Uh, Majestic with a nice clear there. Back into the opposing corner. Anarchy kicks that back off the corner. Let's see if he can get a decent clear. Ooh, bump there from Majestic, because he's going to pass this. No, he's going to try to take it himself. Bad play there. That will end up going in their favor towards the opposing net. Pinch. A little too much on that play. Yeah, just right off the bat, I'm noticing that... I mean, this is minor league, so obviously it's going to be a bit slower paced, but both of these teams having a few whiffs right at the beginning of the game and just kind of not really a ton of pace and, and teamwork going on so far. So 
especially in this lower lower league, whichever team can kind of find their, their game and get in their stride first, I think, is really going to be out to an early advantage in this series. Yeah, both teams seeming a little flustered here. We're also seeing a couple double commits. Chinchilla with a nice pass. Another one right there. Yeah. <laughs> Speak of it. Whiff there from Zach. Yeah, definitely quite a few whiffs here, but first game, lots of herbs. Uh, also filling, filling each other out. Good touch there from Anarchy. Plays that off the roof. It's going to give Spider some time. Not the best touch from Spiders. Hit Anarchy will pass it over to Chinchilla, but he'll whiff and a bump there. Wide open net here. Impulse trying to with the follow up shot that's going to land back left and a whiff from Anarchy. And uh, Jackals jumps out to the lead here. So maybe they're yeah. the first team to figure it out. Bad double commit on that play. Yeah, but as, as much as it was bad defense from the Soldiers, it was a great shot by Impulse that was really the hardest place to make that save. He put it right on the far post. Anarchy saw that, maybe could have got there, but just the shot was more or less perfectly placed for Impulse there. So very well done by him to, to capitalize on that open net and still find precision in his shot. Yeah, great placement for sure. The soldiers will be looking to answer back. Anarchy not in the best position there, and Majestic whiffs on the shot. Another whiff. Impulse might have fact faked out Zach a little bit. Pop there, that's headed towards net. 50 there, kind of just hits the roof, falls straight down. Chinchilla with the whiff. Majestic's going to get that out of there finally. Anarchy trying to keep the pressure here on the Jackals. Soldiers looking to get that lead back, having a hard time getting decent clears to the opposing end though. So Impulse is going to try to play this off the back wall. Good win there from Anarchy. Trying to keep it out of center. Majestic with a nice pass, but Zach played that perfectly, got it out of there. Impulse trying to follow up with the shot of zone. Yeah, it looks like this Jackals team is kind of not really following up shots really at all, which isn't necessarily a bad thing because they do have the lead here, but I think if they were just playing a tighter offensive rotation, they definitely could have had another goal or two by now, but they're just kind of playing super lax and just letting letting the play happen and a lot of solo plays on offense for the Jackals, so we'll have to see if they... Ooh, ooh. ooh close one right there. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to see if they, if they adjust to... Putting, putting a bit more players, a few more players on offense, or if they're just going to continue going with these solo attacks and are comfortable with their 1-0 lead. Yeah, right now it seems to be working out. They are killing a lot of clock. Only a minute 30 left here. Anarchy follows that up, gets the good touch off the corner. Impulse with a nice read. Chinchilla pops that up, maybe play to himself, but Majestic's going to beat him to that ball. So he'll go for the pass off the backboard. Impulse there for the follow-up, and he'll whiff. Missed opportunity right there for the Jackals to have an insurance goal here headed into that last minute. Chinchilla maybe with the shot just wide and Majestic does get the touch. Kind of pops it over to the corner. Whiff there from Anarchy. Really I've, what I'm noticing too is the soldiers when they need a pass to keep the pressure on their whiffing and that critical spot kind of midfield whiffs. Yeah that's definitely uh, something that happens especially at this lower level. Um, for a lot of these players, this this might be their first time being streamed in a game, so definitely some potential for stream nerves, and as well, it's the first match of the day, and so it can just kind of be a bit of a warm-up game for some teams and still feeling each other out, so a lot of factors go into it, but definitely something that they'll need to look into kind of getting under control for, for the rest of this series. Yeah, it's been a competitive game so far, but definitely those stream nerves, those always are such a big impact as that goes for the Ooh. shot there. Anarchy really could have went for a bump on Spider or Demo, and he'll miss out on that chance. Always got to be ready for those bumps. When there's only one in net, Zach pops that. 14 seconds here. We'll see a double commit there once again from the Soldiers. This ball is in the opposing net, though. Majestic needs to get a good clear. Anarchy kind of pops that down off the 50. Good follow-up oh. there from Chilla, headed towards oh. the That's going to be just oh. wide. I think Zach thought that was going to go in and just belled on the play. Oh, they almost tied it up under five seconds. Yeah, yeah, very, very close ending. Those posts always a bit hard to read, so only yeah, hard to tell and a bit of a tough break for the soldiers to end that game out. But overall, I think that was pretty well played by both teams. Jackals coming away with a lead, but by no means completely, completely a write-off for the soldiers. Oh, yeah, not at all. Very competitive game here in game one. And as you're saying, first game nerves, uh, warming up and all that. So we'll see how game two goes. I think that's one of the uh, more critical game than game one. 
Yeah, and the Soldiers definitely looked like a much more solid team in the last minute or two of that game. They were holding some very strong midfield uh, pressure, and they're really just putting shot after shot on that Jackals defense, forcing the Jackals to make three saves by the end of the game. So Jackals kind of maintaining their position as a, as a team that makes a lot of saves but doesn't let in a lot of goals. So it's, it's interesting, but I definitely think if the Soldiers play like they did at the end of that game, they can easily, easily come away with significantly more than zero goals in this one. I would have to agree. I'm jumping back in. Not sure why I got kicked. <laughs> Very competitive. This, yeah, the Jack or the Soldiers, sorry, we're putting a lot of pressure on the Jackals, though. We saw it almost pay off on that last shot. Just hit that post. Uh, soldiers will have to be quick to follow up on those opportunities as well. Yeah, and it does look like the Jackals are swapping players mid-series here. They're bringing in Wurtz for, I believe, Spider. So that's always that's always very interesting to me because it can either you know be a bit of a change-up that your team might need to keep competitive in the series, but for the Jackals who actually came up with the win in the last game, I often fear that it can just more you know change up your rotation, mess up your communication a little bit, and just make things more difficult than they need to be. So. It'll be an interesting dynamic here, and we'll have to see how it works out for this Jackals team. Yeah, definitely an interesting switch. I didn't notice Spider with any sloppy play or anything, and like you said, they took the win, so maybe they're just trying to get all their players some playing time. But yeah, we'll definitely have to see. It's kind of a weird time to be doing that uh, headed into the last week of playoffs. You really want to focus on that win, but maybe it'll work out for them. Yeah, I mean, passing was, here. Yeah, I mean, clearly working out a little bit better here, just kind of bang, bang, bang passing plays, but... Yeah, it's, it's kind of kind of never really clear to me why teams swap out mid-game, but it works out most of the time, it seems, so. Ooh, pass here from Anarchy off the backboard. Follow-up oh, shot from Zach. Ooh. Could not get the angle on that one. Close play there from the Soldiers. Anarchy maybe playing this off the wall. Majestic going for the touch. Does not get it around Zach. Good adjustment there by Zach. Reaction flip that out. Ball's going to be up high. Chinchilla and Wirtz going up for it. Wirtz is going to win that 50 as that ball pops down. Good touch there from Anarchy and oh, great oh, redirect yes. from Chinchilla. Yeah, and then a pass back out from Anarchy here. Good read there from Majestic Wolf. No third guy there to follow up. There he is. Zach trying to get the angle. Gets good oh, touches. Oh. Anarchy with the follow-up close one. Soldiers definitely applying a lot more pressure here in game two than they did in game one. Right off the bat, Anarchy with the shot. Oh, top left. Oh, oh. <laughs> These are all so close. Chinchilla with the pass off the backboard. This could be the chance. Majestic with the good defense. Incredible pressure here. It seems like the third guy's always back, ready to reapply pressure. This is the first time the ball's been out of there, out of the opposing half this whole game, too. Chinchilla will follow that one back up, right back in that half. Yeah, it's been. Not sure what Majestic's doing. Oh. Shot here from Zach, and that's going to hey. fall. Great. Create a little jump there from Zach. It's going to. Perfectly work out, just a finesse shot really, is that bounces or pops it over Impulse's head for a goal, bottom left corner. Yeah, I mean it was kind of a bit of a confusion situation there for the Jackals on defense. They definitely didn't look like their rotation was totally there. Zach kind of just came in and snatched the ball off of one of their roofs as works with a quick one back. Just kind of finds the ball in space off the wall there. Very good kickoff. Don't know if that was communicated or not, but very well done by the Jackals. And a couple of whiffs coming out on that Soldier's side. So, had the lead in this game for all of three seconds before <laughs> Jackals put one right back on him. Yeah, those kickoff goals can hurt you. Jackals going for another one here. Good pass there from Majestic. Zach dribbling it out. No follow-up from Jackals on that one. Good clear there from Anarchy just with a little pop off his car. Wurtz in the right place. Zach... Dunks that right over. Impulse and Majestic are both have their back to the ball. Good play there from Impulse to just get it around and give his teammates some time to rotate back. Chinchilla with a nice read. See how he passes this. He tries to go for the pass down, but he'll whiff. Wurtz will whiff, whiff though, too. Majestic helping his teammate out, getting it out of there. Zach with the follow-up. That's going to be open net. No one there from the Soldiers to follow that one up. Chinchilla yeah. was back. No, Chinchilla actually got demoed at midfield by Wurtz while rotating in, so it was a very, very oh. smart demo to kind of take that rotation apart for the Soldiers because I believe he would have been rotating in and he would have had a good shot there. Yeah, but great defensive play. Took him right out of the play, bringing in some physical play, really. 
really kind of helping out the jackals so far in this one. I think they have a couple of solid demos so far. For sure, demos are underrated in this league. Oh, oh shot on the impulse, and he got Zach napping. What a shot! Yeah, he just went for a quick little double touch, little pass off the backboard to himself. Zach was just really didn't seem ready for that to happen. Uh, yeah, I don't Very, think he's impulse surprised him for sure on that one. Impulse surprised himself, I would imagine. That's, <laughs> it's just kind of, I mean, this is this is minor league, so they're definitely capable players, but. Definitely not not double touching as often as people in, in say Premiere or anything. So yeah, for sure. Really and that was a that was a quick one too. Yeah, it was just a nice little bang bang play. He did did well to know that he didn't really have any teammates off the backboard for him, and he had to do everything himself, which is touch there I mean, from Wurtz. Ooh, close. <laughs> Anarchy gets a touch on that one to keep it out of center, but Chinchilla and Anarchy both oh. up on that wall. Where's Third, Zach finally comes in, but definitely a missed opportunity there from Jackals. Could have took a two-point lead here. Yeah, they're kind of falling back into the rotation that they had in game number one when they had the lead. They just kind of played very safe, did little one-man offensive pushes, which obviously worked out. We saw it from Impulse getting that solo goal. Um, but they just prefer this this safe, non-committal rotational style, which when they have the lead is not altogether a bad thing. So it's working out for them so far. Yeah, definitely worked out that for them in game one. See if it works out here in game two. Pass there from Zach. Anarchy with the whiff. Maybe a little too much on that pass. Definitely should have been a shot in my opinion, though. We just tries to pop that over Chinchilla. Good read there from Chinchilla, keeping it out of net. Ten seconds here. Soldiers are in danger of dropping the second game as well. Anarchy tries to slow this down. Works good defense, keeping the pressure. Zach pops it. Now they're just going to have to try to keep it up. Majestic hits that down off the wall and game two over. Yep, very, very well played in the end there from the Jackals. They conceded that goal right off the bat, and it was kind of a kind of an awkward defensive situation for them, but they recovered very well. Got a quick kickoff goal back, recovered a ton of momentum, I think, from that, and then from there on it was really in control uh, for the Jackals. And, yeah, they've already got a 2-0 lead in this series, so... And like I said earlier, this series is really important for both teams, but maybe more important yeah. for the Soldiers who are right on the brink of uh, being right in a playoff spot. They only need two wins to be in a playoff spot, but you got to remember those other teams are playing today too. So they really wanted to do better in this series than a 2-2 split, but that's really what they're going to have to go for. And on the other hand, the Jackals, like I said, they need a 4-0 or a 3-1 today, and they're right on target to do that. So good signs from them already. Yeah, absolutely. They're just looking like the better team, I think. Um, not necessarily on both ends of the ball, but they're taking they're taking their chances much better than the soldiers are for sure. So it's it's interesting to see. So on to game three. See if the soldiers can pull off the sweep. I think this, I mean, the uh, Jackal, sorry. Good kickoff here from Chinchilla, but straight to Wurtz. Ball's gonna pop over to Anarchy. He passes that to Zach with a quick shot. Good pass and play there. Good sign for the soldiers, but Majestic with a nice save. Chinchilla with the whiff there, threw Majestic off though. It's gonna be okay. Spider takes that to the opposing end. Slow play here. No one's in net, and Chinchilla will rotate back fast enough. Double commit there from Soldiers. That really could have hurt them if someone from the uh, Jackals followed that one up a little quicker. Yeah, I think the Jackals are kind of... It seems as they really prefer this this loose offensive rotation and just these these single commits. They, sh they showed a bit more togetherness as a team when they were down in the, in the previous game, but other than that, they seem perfectly comfortable with, with super slow defensive rotations which it's worked out for them so far so I, I can't complain too much about it but if the soldiers can adapt to that it's definitely the type of thing that they can really take advantage of and, and can pull away a game or two in the series yeah it definitely seems like they like to play a more defensive game keep the ball just kind of keep the pressure but not really uh, go for the risky shots which is really helping their defense out I think if the soldiers could go up 2-0 though it'd be really dangerous that might break apart this Jackal's strategy uh, just because they haven't had to play risky so far, it might get them flustered. So soldiers need to score fast and score quick, I think here, and that might that probably help them uh, win game three. Yeah, absolutely. These games seem 
a lot like you know first one to kind of get their offense going is is the first team that gets it and, and heavily momentum based as well so whichever team kind of gets on top and, and holds on to their lead for a little bit seems to be the the winner of most of these games a oh, great touch there from zach he might be able to follow us up oh. with a shot. Down touch. Oh. 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 Holy zach. what a shot look at this look at this first touch just right off the wall picks that up perfectly and gets the perfect drop down into the bottom right yeah, it was really a perfect shot over all three defenders. Of course, Jack was a bit of an unfortunate double commit there. And, I mean, once again, they have swapped a player out here. So it's it's Wurt Spider and Majestic Wolf playing in this one. So potentially, player swap coming back to hurt him a little bit with a double commit there. But now down to the Soldiers to kind of hold on to this lead. And they're already doing better than their last lead. So. Yeah, and Impulse is uh, really the MVP for the Jackals team. A curious move to take him out and uh, maybe he had to go or something. Might backfire for sure. Good touch there from Spiders, maybe with the drag. He does get that drag, but Chinchilla with the nice read. And plays it off the corner with there from Majestic Wolf. But Wurtz keeps the pressure on. Zach with one pop. This is really the time for Zach to shine now that Impulse is out of the game. And Anarchy keeps that from going center. He'll slow it down, maybe take it up on the wall. He does, pops it over one. See if he can get a good pass off here. Gets the dunk off from Majestic Wolf's car in the pass, but where is, where are the, where are the second and third player for the soldiers there? That was a wide open net after a great pass. They gotta be more aggressive on those ones. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely kind of been the plague of, of both of these teams, I think, is their lack of, of solid team offensive rotation. There's a good little passing play, <laughs> right? As, I just were talking about it, but the caster's curse there. Anarchy <laughs> sold that. Finds Zach in the middle of the field. And Zach with a perfect shot threads the needle. Wurtz and Spider finds the back of the net. 2 0 lead is the largest of this series so far. And we'll have to see if Jackals can do anything to bring it back in the last two minutes of game number three here. Yeah, like I said, this is the time for Zach to shine. And I think the soldiers getting out to 2 0. 3 0 lead is really going to help them. Now the Jackals will have to play aggressively, which is something we haven't seen them do this series. Great play there from Zach. Good uh, good lucky touch kind of off the corner. Fell right into Chilla's uh, shooting zone. Yeah, absolutely. We're now seeing why these uh, these soldiers are recognized as a good passing team. Kind of finally coming out here, finding each other, finding their groove in, ter in terms of rotation and communication. And Yeah, it's giving them two quick goals here. Tack onto an early one and a huge lead here in game number three. Impulse being gone is also really hurting the Jackals in this game three. Spider flicks that out. 50 50 there, kind of split. Zach with the clean pickup. Looks like Chinchilla rotate back out. All kind of just dies there, but two in that corner. It's going to be a little dangerous. Majest or Anarchy tries to follow that up. Good block. Where it's with the flick off the wall. Pretty good flick there, and it gets that ball high. In danger of an aerial shot, though. Anarchy's going to pass Ooh. that over to Chinchilla. Not the greatest pass. Majestic Wolf will take it out. So even get the touch off here. He does. Over to Wurtz. Oh. <laughs> that could have been a sweet passing play. I think if Wurtz would have got that, maybe either a little slower, a little bit more towards net. Oh. oh, dunk there from Anarchy. Just off. Incredible pressure from the soldiers. Chinchilla kicks that with a pop, but Zach wasn't expecting that. Chinchilla with the follow-up shot. Wurtz with a nice save. This uh, game three, the soldiers look a lot different here in this game three. They're following up midfield, keeping it, the pressure on as well as hitting the target on their shots. Yeah, this is the kind of form they showed, especially at the end of game number one when they were kind of getting their pressure back on it and they nearly got that goal there. They were just holding this midfield line super, super strong, aggressive high pressure, and Jackal just really could not get anything and, and eventually it created some opportunities for the soldiers. And especially in this game, they've been Instead of looking for the back of the net, they've been looking for each other and, and finding each other, which makes it easy to find the back of the net. Good save there from Zach. Counting down here, soldiers will answer back, and they will be able to take a game in this series. Very important for them. Like I said, they need at least two wins to get a playoff spot. They would have hoped for better, but at this point, with only a week left in the, se in the season, they really need to pick up game four as well. Can't go away with a 3-1 series here. Yeah, absolutely, but 
With a game like that, I think they're carrying a lot of a lot of momentum into the next one, and especially if if Impulse doesn't come back for this Jackals lineup, I think that'll give the Soldiers a lot of confidence, and it'll really help them maintain the the strong lead that they had in this one. Although Impulse has rejoined the lobby, so yeah, Actually, I would not I would not yeah. be surprised if he comes back in. <laughs> not <Yeah>. one bit. <laughs> So we'll have to see how this works out, but definitely looking like the soldiers are probably my personal favorite heading into this last one. Yeah, I would have to agree. Even just looking at those shot total, just incredible pressure from the soldiers and a lack thereof for the jackals. They could not get the ball out of their half. And they weren't doing a lot at midfield. Okay, I'll have to see just if Impulse can kind of. I'll have to see Sorry. if Impulse can. And kind of step up and then kind of reignite that defensive uh, prowess that the Jackal showed in the first couple of games as Chinchilla nearly gets one right off the bat there. Follow up from Anarchy sold at, finds the back of the net. Soldiers picking up right where they left off in game number three with a quick couple or a quick goal here. Eight seconds into the game, good offensive pressure once again. Anarchy sold at, picked up a clear at midfield and boomed it into the net. Caught the defense road hitting back. Not much that could be done, so Soldiers definitely looking really strong going into this one. Yeah, oh. that, ooh, answer back here. <laughs> that was a what bit of an own goal. <laughs> yeah, I think or it was a great shot from Spider, um, but it might have been a bit of an own goal here. Yep, indeed it yep. was. Zach kind of catching it off the crossbar, putting it into his own net. Definitely unfortunate, but that's the trap of high offensive pressure. You're holding your pressure at midfield, and then all of a sudden you've got all of your players at midfield and, and no one back to play goalie. So exactly. Really... That can always be dangerous. Follow-up shot from Chinchilla. <laughs> I think uh, even though they gave up a goal right after getting that first goal in this game, very important, oh! great save from Zach right there. Redemption. A little bit of redemption. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> redemption play for sure. Zach's going to slow this down, pass it over to Anarchy, who just goes straight for the shot. Could have got a little bit more power on that one, but good save for him as well. He had the placement he needed, just a little bit more power. Spider's going to play that off the back wall, just kicks it down into the corner for Impulse to take out. A little bit of a team clear here. Impulse gets it around one. Zach, good defense there. So yeah, waiting for his teammates to get back. This isn't looking too good. Anarchy will rotate back, help his teammates out. Zach's going to take this out of the corner, maybe pop it out. He's going to pop it up. Oh. Two. Spider's not in the best position defensively, cool. but he will get there. A little slow follow-up from the Soldier. Zach with the follow-up shot, and it pulls with a nice save. As I said, he's second in the league in save, so having him back for game four is definitely going to help. Oh. Ooh, good touch there from Zach. That was dangerous. And speaking of good saves, Zach has had a lot of, of uncredited defensive moments in this game, but definitely a lot of very solid touches from him uh, after that own goal. Uh, he's really looked like a bit of a rock on defense, and as we saw in the, in the previous game as well, he was showing a lot of offensive power as well. So definitely looking like the MVP for the Soldiers team, I think. I know there's a lot of... A lot of support for Anarchy sold that in the chat, but I my personal MVP on this Soldiers has got to be Zach so far this series. Yeah, I, I definitely would agree. Zach is up top in the league in most stats, so just his stats alone, they speak for themselves. But uh, doing great in this game, like you said, maybe not getting all the saves that he deserves, but he's getting touches midfield as well as keeping the ball from going anywhere near the net. Impulse gives... Zach time with this ball, he'll take that from Anarchy. And pop it around one, Spider with a nice follow-up. Chinchilla's gonna not do anything with this, he's gonna let Anarchy play it out. Maybe a little bit of miscommunication there, Impulse trying to take advantage, that ball kicks off the side. Chinchilla with ni the nice defense. Impulse maybe pop here from Spider, he does get that pop, that's a great pass, that's gonna be up high. Zach, once again, great defensive touch off the wall. Like you were saying, getting great clears more than uh, saves here, but they're definitely paying off. He'll end up passing that one over to Spider, though, who misses on the shot. Oh. What a pop here, and great save from Zach as he comes in. Bumps oh. down away, another great defensive play. The Soldiers are hanging on by a thread here. This pressure from the from the Jackals team is overpowering at the moment. Yeah, the Jackals are kind of doing to the Soldiers exactly what the Soldiers were doing to them in terms of Aggressive pressure, a demo there might finally break the back of the Jackals def or midfield defense, I guess. Uh, Zach now coming in with a shot, not quite gonna happen, but yeah, just a good little demo there to kind of re remove pressure at midfield and, and give some space for the Soldiers offense to get going. 
Ooh, Anarchy might have saved that a little bit from Zach there. Another demo. Chinchilla with the pop out, and Wurtz looks like he's going to be the first one to get here. Passes it over to Impulse. Impulse maybe not with boost to go for that one. That's what it's looking like. Gets a little help. Wurtz, not the best touch, just kind of pops it over. Anarchy not slowing this down. Going to take it as fast as he can. Tries to get a flick off. Not the best power on that one. The spider pops that over one. Chinchilla... It's trying to keep the pressure here. Impulse pops that back. Back and forth here. Anarchy that might be headed towards that. That is a shot and works good defense. He kicks that into his own corner, but a lot of pressure here now from oh. the soldier. The script has flipped for sure. Works with some good wall defense here. During this, uh, this pressure, all these shot attempts from the soldiers. There's another one. Chinchilla gets that ball up high. We'll see if he can pop it off the wall. Not. He cannot. Close, though. But two up right there for the soldiers. It's going to be a little dangerous. Looks like Anarchy's going to slow us down. Back pass it to Chinchilla, who gets the pinch, but Impulse in the perfect spot for that one. Good 50 win there from Zach. That was very crucial. 30 seconds here, so back and forth. Pretty much the whole game. Those first two goals coming early. We might have our OT for Game 4. Yeah, absolutely. Both these teams, I think, finally hitting their stride at the same time. Huge booming clear from Zach. Oh! Chinchilla Ooh. with a beautiful shot. Yeah, it was just a great little clear from Zach. And it turned into a bit of a pass as Chinchilla came off the wall, got his car rooted around nicely, and just outpaced the defenders there, got up before them. It looked like there were two of them right there waiting to hit the ball, but just could not happen. Now 12 seconds, a huge demo at midfield as well. Chinchilla Open with the net. shot attempt. And yeah, that's going to finish him off. Nail in the coffin here as the soldiers are going to tie up this series. Right off the kickoff, they came out with some huge offense and an enormous demo at midfield. Gave Chinchilla a ton of time on the ball. He just took that and ran with it all the way to the net. When those kickoff plays work, they are pretty. That is for sure. And uh, the Soldiers will be able to tie the series up to a piece, which is crucial if headed into the last week of playoffs. Jackals will be looking for some good play next week, hoping to get back into contention for a playoff spot. Yeah, absolutely. They, they definitely showed a lot of moments of brilliance in this game. At the end of the day, they probably didn't get the result that they, that they wanted or needed, but they still showed a lot of, a lot of brilliance in this one. Definitely could have gone a lot worse for them I think so doing doing decently well and as well that is one of the teams representing Bill so they are a first year team first year franchise in RSC here I believe the soldiers are as well but regardless it's it's good to see little moments like this even if your season isn't exactly going to plan just to be able to get uh, a couple a couple wins under your belt and solid results in the games that you lost gives them plenty to analyze, plenty to work on. Even if it doesn't work out for them this season, they've still got plenty of seasons coming forward. So if I were the Jackals, I would definitely be decently pleased with this result. Yeah, for sure. A very competitive series, and all the games were tight. This one was only 3-1 because of that last kickoff goal. So almost all the games were within like one goal piece. So very tight series. Definitely both teams can take away from this matchup. Yeah. Yep. I'd like to thank you guys, uh, Llama, Bercules, for casting tonight. To thank everyone for watching. We have a few links below the stream you can check out. Our YouTube channel has a playlist of the previous stream matches this season if you want to catch up on some of the past games. We also have a link to our website. Check out the standings and stats for the four different leagues we have. We have Premier, Major, Minor, and Challenger. We also have a link to our Discord and that'll have the most up-to-date information on the league. Good night, and I hope to see you on Wednesday. Have a good night, guys.